Good morning. Um, okay, so the last day or two I have been carving these rowing boats out of soap. Remind me a bit of the boat I grew up rowing as, uh, that we had as a kid and also dinghies that, you know, you'll see in any marina, waterway, etc, etc, etc. Fairly simple shape. And I thought I would show you how I make them. Now, one thing to notice is that the shape of the soap is going to affect the shape of your boat. And this is one place to really make use of the shape of your soap. So if you'll see with these, you know, if we've got a fairly regular size and shape of soap, this is the Nivea one which we discussed earlier. Um, so with this, it's going to be reasonably flat boat, fairly, um, you know, proud to tip. It's going to be fairly long boat. This one, this is the Dove. Sorry about my washing machine in the background. This will become more of a coracle shape. It's round. I'm not going to bring it to completely circular, but I'm also not going to try and change this too much. It's got a very deep shape, so I'll probably just use that in the boat. So make use of the shape of your soap. Okay, but I'm not going to show you on this because there's less shaping. I will show you on this one. So the first thing to do is to roughly work out what shape you want your boat. Now, a lot of people use pen for this. I prefer just to get straight in there with the point of my knife. So I'm going to... What I want is slightly curved at the... slightly curved around at the back. So the widest point of a dinghy is nearly always the centre. That's not... so I'll probably do it a little bit more than that. And I'm doing these as straight lines now, but I'll curve them. So I'm going to mark out that. It's roughly even. And then the prow, I don't want a complete point on mine. I want it slightly squared at the top, but more, it's going to come in more than the stern did. Okay, so that's there. And then on the side, I will also bring it up a little bit at the front and the back. I'll probably leave. So the first thing I'm going to do is just chop off those bits and then we'll come back. So as you can see, I've taken off three of the corners. I'm just going to take off the fourth. Now, if you remember from my soap carving comparison, soap comparison video, which I'll link below, um, this is the Nivea soap. It's very soft, so you can take off fairly big chunks at a time, like this. Um, the more brittle soaps, you need to take a lot less, or you will just get it breaking fairly uncontrollably, which is not good. Okay, so I've roughly shaped it now. It's not quite even, but that's something we can work out. And you see, we've lost the marks for the sides, but I'll just put this back. So I want my prow to come up around here. I'm going to just make sure that line goes evenly across the front and then I will take that off. As I said with this Nivea soap, I can pretty much go for it. I would not recommend this with a more brittle soap. You just need to do a little at a time. Okay, so there's my rough shaped shaping of the outside. Next thing I want to do is mark my the inside. So first thing I do is I mark out the entire inside shape of my boat. Okay. I'll leave right maybe even go a bit rounder here the next thing I'll do is mark out where my um, benches are the thwarts so I'm going to have a back seat around here it's quite deep I might make that narrower but 
um, then one roughly across the widest point and then sometimes I do and sometimes I don't put in a front seat I'm going to mark all of those now next thing I need to do is basically I'm going to hollow out this section and this section I'll just put an X on them so you can see so these are just going to be my empty space the deepest points like on these and then once I've got those reasonably hollowed out then I will make the seats just a little bit shallower than the sides of the boat okay okay to hollow these out first of all I'm making very shallow cuts just to mark out to define my space so always about defining my space Define, define, define. Cut more of it out. Sometimes I'll use the back of my knife to, to just bring that down. So I use the point to cut away the edges, but I don't want to be, you know, bringing my knife too flat or too deep. So I'll use this, the smooth side just to scrape away what I don't want. So let me just pull that. Don't forget as you're cutting down sides you'll need to go deeper in your side cuts than you did originally. Don't go too deep at first or you could crack yourself. So just a little deeper as you need it each time. Okay now I've got my center sections more or less dug out. I may go deeper with them once I've taken out the seats but that's the next thing. So the center seat should be the highest. Generally that's the one that people would be sitting on to row. So I'm just literally just taking it down on either side a little bit and then smoothing out the center to get it reasonably flat. And as you can see, that really shows up that this section is much deeper than this one, so I'll have to take this one a bit deeper. But first, let's just get these other seats out. And using the back of my knife to flatten them. And the back seats. Just a nice, as flat as I can with this cut. Just, I want to leave it raised, but have it below the sides of the boat. Okay, so like I said, we're going to make this one a bit deeper I'm using the back of my knife because then I can get nice, it gets flatter that way. I can't necessarily get the center without messing up my seat, so I will for that go the other way. It's basically where you can get your knife in. Okay, and that's my boat. And I need to shape up the sides, but that's it.